parts of the world, flower growers struggle to make a living. But one farming collective in northern Japan has discovered creative new ways to prosper. And their ingenuity is fast becoming a model for growers worldwide. Here's our story. It's 7 a.m. and the action at the Otter Flower Auction in Tokyo is fast and furious. Each of the thousands of boxes of flowers that roll through here is sold in less than five seconds. These flowers are among the most popular. They are Ashiro gentians, named for the town where they are grown. They are so highly valued that they often sell for the top price before the bidding even begins. This is the story of how a community of Japanese farmers took a lovely flower and made it better. And in doing so, saved their livelihoods and the economy of an entire town in northern Japan. They are part of a worldwide movement that is developing new plant varieties, protecting rights to them and sharing them across borders. For this family, it has been a lifelong quest. 50 years ago, when 69-year-old Hideo Kudo began farming, his main crop was rice. But he never earned enough to support his wife and children. So every winter, he was forced to work construction in far off Tokyo, leaving his family behind. It was really hard to leave my wife alone. Sometimes when I returned home, my wife would cry. Mr. Kudo was determined to stay close to the people and the land he loved, and so by 1971, he and some of Ashiro's other farmers decided to take a risk. They began farming blue gentians, starting with a variety that grew wild in the nearby hills. In the beginning, that was the only one variety we had. Gentian flowers are highly prized in Buddhist Japan, especially if they are blue, a color considered noble. On Buddhist holidays, families like the Kudos leave gentians on their ancestors' graves in tribute to their memory. In high demand, this flower became the perfect crop for a struggling farmer. If you cultivate rice, you need about 10 times as much land to earn the same amount that we now earn from gentians. Over the years, the gentian business thrived, and Hideo's son, now 37, is poised to take over what his father began. There is a pleasure to nursing something living, and the biggest pleasure is the moment when the beautiful flowers bloom. Their success has been decades in the making. The Kudos are part of a farmer's collective that has created an industry of cut flowers and potted plants now worth more than 13 million US dollars a year. It began with gentian growers pooling resources for research and development. We save one yen for every stem for the development of new varieties. We are investing in the economic future of this area. The local government's research and development center contributes to that future by helping develop new gentian varieties with unique characteristics, like the red color, or flowers that bloom in time for Buddhist festivals. The way we develop the new varieties is by crossing parent A with parent B, and then we get the seeds. Takashi Higagi heads the research center. He propagates male and female plants, storing them in this cold room, carefully preparing the shoots to lay down roots. When they are ready, he pollinates female plants by hand. 
It blooms only after the second year. And finally, in the third year, we can start seeing the plant's true characteristics and productivity. But success is not assured until farmers grow the plants. The process can take as long as 10 years. Still, Ashero has developed dozens of new gentian varieties that exist nowhere else in the world. Ashiro growers are also prospering because Japan is part of the international system that recognizes breeders' rights to royalties for new plant varieties. They license the production of their 10 most successful gentian varieties to flower growers as far away as Chile and New Zealand. If breeders didn't have protection, it would be possible for other people to reproduce it without any form of compensation for the breeder. Peter Button is the Vice Secretary General of UPOV, the International Union for the Protection of New Plant Varieties, which is affiliated with the UN's World Intellectual Property Organization. It ensures that the breeder can set up uh, an agreement whereby he receives an income, which will enable him to reinvest in, in producing new varieties. Another important source of growth is exporting flowers. Ashiro gentians are sold not just in exclusive Tokyo shops, but also in New York City and Brussels. It's a promising trend that could ensure a future for Ashiro's next generation. As a guest teacher, Yoshitero reassures these young children that they will have a future on their family's land. I really want the children to love their hometown and to be willing to take on a new challenge and then get satisfaction from it.